This is the agenda of the regular board meeting of the board of trustees of Burnham, Cook County, Illinois. Today is June 11, 2024, on the Sandwood Trustee Cox? Here. Trustee Hodges? Here. Trustee Jefferson? Here. Trustee Richardson? Here. Oh, no. Not him. Trustee got to be a walk He likes the man. It wasn't none of him. Of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We have two sets of minutes. We have two sets of minutes from May 14 and from May 28. So, is there any correction to be made to either of those minutes from those dates? Uh, May 14 and May 24. If there are no corrections to be made, I will ask a motion to approve the minutes from May 14 and May 28. I make a motion to approve the minutes of May 14, 2024, and May 28, 2024. Yes, the motion approved by the trustee Trainbrook to approve the dates of May. Do we have a second, please? Second. Second by trustee Rickson. Trustee Taft? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. A motion passed. Thank you. Uh, before we open the meeting to the public, if anyone has anything to say, uh, please limit your comments to three minutes and you can make a statement to the board and we will, uh, and we will hear your input. So I will ask for a motion to open the meeting to the public. A motion to open the meeting to the public. That's a motion on board by Trustee Hodges. Can we have a second? Second. Second. Second, second by Trustee Cap for the first April. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Okay, motion passed. The meeting is now open for public comments. Good, e good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Pardon me? Uh, give us your name, please, for the record. Miss Cosby. I would like to know what can uh, we do about the raccoons that's coming in my backyard and boo going? Well, um, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, mm -hmm. It comes to my yard, I get them out. <laughs> How do you get them out? Uh, um, we know animals is a very kind of a sensitive type of issue and um, you know, sometimes it causes uh, uh, problems that we not necessarily want to endure with. Mm -hmm. But um, but we'll give it some thought and we'll give you a call. Okay, uh, thank you. Also, you can purchase some stuff from the uh, stores, Home Depot, and Arms, or uh, online. Coyote urine works, and uh, there's some things called critter killer. It's like a granule you just put in your yard, mm -hmm. it won't kill anything, but it'll be true. I have one that eats the food of my bird feeder at night, so every night my bird feeder comes in the house because it'll climb up in the tree, pull the thing up there, and eat everything. It's a it's a raccoon too. It's a big one too, mm. but he does it every night as long as I leave it out. So the, you know the bird feeder comes in the house, which I did right before I left to come here. <laughs> At least they don't come in the house. <laughs> Any other public comment? Man was in the house. Your house? Yeah, last year up on in my attic, they put a big hole in my Thank attic, you, and I had to call the ground floor. You know what they're gonna work on the uh, corns? Uh, street uh, torrents? I mean, uh, state lines. Um, well, state line is uh, state street. Uh, state street. Okay. Um, well, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be this year, 2024. Uh, most of uh, I mean, Space Street, I mean, 90% of it actually is Cashman City, so it's under the authority. It's sort of really has very, very little to do with it. Uh, so we all know from, uh, from Alice to Yates, 
I did call yesterday and again today because there's been a lot of complaints and I reported it to Kel City. Also, the street lights have been out since maybe the winter, but I didn't get any promises. Sometimes when I call, they get right out and patch the holes, but I didn't get any promises today. Yeah, it's just state line. Yeah, state street. That's state street, not state line. But yeah. I did call, though, yesterday and today. Thank you. And it slows the traffic down, too. It's hard to avoid all those big potholes. Some of you don't see the bottom. It's bad. I don't go down it because of potholes. Mm -hmm. well, Ramsey, of course, and uh, uh, to best my understanding, I mean, it is not on the agenda to be repaired in 24. So. Well, is that part of, part of the transportation is? No, I think that's part well, actually, they're seeking special funding from the social. Somebody will probably come to that guy or maybe some other form of transportation fund. And uh, so we just count on the back part of the state. There was a project a couple of years ago to redo the whole road all the way from the expressway to state line. Mm -hmm. Are they still going? Are they still, they still studying that? They got pushed back. Right? They also want to put an interchange down there by the expressway. And also, you can be able to go south as well as going north to Washington. Are there any other public comments? The parking over by the restaurant, when they have it come park or whatever. Yeah. yeah, but we had one meeting with them, and oh, okay. we'll, be we'll be having another one. Are there any other? Mayor, would that meeting be open to the public? Uh, well, you could come to it if you want to, but um, but it would not be posted. Uh, we do not know why to post that, so it's not a village meeting. It's more than not a community meeting. So I would probably call you and let you know when it is if you want to come. Mm -hmm. Did you have a question? I don't want to stand up. I want to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day <coughs> and grandmother. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes, well. yeah. You know, he's a little late. Yeah. Oh, you were a little late. Okay. That was my mother's day. I mean, father's day. Ah. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. That's okay. Thank um, you. Yep. Thank you. I'm telling you. I just got my attention. I have everyone's attention. Better late than never. Yeah, yeah. Correct. Correct. Are there any other comments? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Another comment. I'm going to ask for a motion to close the meeting to the public. I'd like to make a motion to close the meeting to the public. The motion will go by Trustee Richardson to close the meeting to the public. And we have a second? Second. And second by Trustee Claybrook. We're going to call Trustee Katz? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Claybrook? Yes. Okay, thank you, motion passed. Meeting is now closed to the public. In the mayor's report, I just wanted to say that um, we've done some tree trimming. I think they're about done uh, uh, right away. I think we're about to Yeah. And uh, we got some sewer work that's going to be forthcoming. And we'd also like to say congratulations to the students from Barnum School. We attended the graduation last week, myself and some of the trustees. So that was a very exciting event. And congratulations to them again. And um, we'll also be doing some sidewalk repair this year. We'll not be able to do every single one, but the ones that we do not get, we all want to try to come back next year and uh, uh, follow up on those. And um, I want to say that, um, I mean, like I've said before, and several times, the village of Barnum is holding its own and it's going well. I mean, yep. despite what anyone says, yep. I'm telling you, I'm telling you unequivocally that, that the village of Brown is going well. Um, so we, we'll have people that will come to the meeting and they'll keep asking the same questions. And so for the public and for the people that are watching the video now, so I probably will not be answering any of their questions because it's the same thing over and over and over. Again. And I would also, um, that when I look at this video, then um, I'm going to view the comments that I'm making. Hopefully, that the people, if they have any questions, they can call the village or they can call me directly. 
They would call one of the trustees. If the trustees were not sure, then they could ask me, and we're going to try to get you an answer to your question. And we, um, we are running the village on the best we can uh, with the uh, resources that we have. And there's a lot of expenses and a lot of things that occur that people don't know. We had someone that ran into a fire hydrant about a month ago. And it ran off somewhere. We don't know where the person is. And to replace that hydrant and all the detail that was involved, it could be as much as forty thousand dollars. Wow. Forty thousand dollars. So um so just to so repair just one hydrant. It's just a lot of uh, and a lot of things that people don't know, but we got to get the hydro back up because it's a matter of public safety. Right. And uh, so we're going to put it in a different location, but we're going to get it back up. So, um, but that's all I have. Uh, Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Vehicle um, stickers continue to be on sale for the month of June on Thursdays only. The office window will be open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Office hours are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Hours are from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can come in person to purchase your stickers or through email. The email address is vehicle stickers at burnham-il.gov. Seniors 62 years old and older and veterans, your first sticker is at no charge. Second sticker would be $15. Third sticker would be charge of the type of vehicle. We would need your current vehicle registration and an ID. Vehicle stickers for regular vehicles are $45. Trucks with these plates are $65. Again, you must bring in your current vehicle registration. The deadline to display the sticker is July 1st. That's right. Yeah, thank you for that information. We have uh, some people, they, they wait till the exact last day and then when they don't have the information that they need and they get upset with, their, with the office. Well, um, it would be a good idea if they could look into that. You need the state registration from the Secretary of State office. We have that. Uh, and please don't wait till the last minute to get it or uh, bring it in. Because the villages are. Uh, Position is not to stress out your residents to call you or cause you harm or get to work, but it does need to register. And I don't, I don't believe in the clerk table from right now. I don't think we save the registration from year to year. Is that right, clerk? Regardless if we say it or not, we need to current because the Secretary of State updates the information and we have no way of knowing. Okay. Because you might have a different card this year than you had the last year, so whatever the case is. So um, we just want to maintain. As, as easy as possible and, and productive for everyone. And also, I'm sorry, the village clerk's uh, office will be closed on uh, June 19th for June. Yeah, thank you, clerk, for that information. Uh, public education, can you help them say from where they are? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. fire and medical report. Current yeah. fire and medical report is for May 2024. For the fire call, there were 14. There were nine during the day and five during the night. They had <coughs> one fire alarm, two investigations, two social special service calls, one CO detector and um, seven automobile accidents. For the ambulance call, there was a total of 63. <coughs> there were 37 during the day, and there were 26. They had eight site uh, incidents, one diabetic incident, eight trouble breathing, one chest pain, one unresponsive subject, one broken bone, five closed wounds, four convulsion of seizures, three gunshots, Ouch. 27 other medical emergencies, three pain, which is not specified, and one case suspected. 
So, as you can see, the element was very, very busy. The police department is looking into purchasing body cameras for the department. So, as, as it's progress, we'll keep you updated on how, how well it is going. Again, the police department is looking into purchasing body cameras for the department. And I'd just like to deal with what the mayor said. Congratulations to all of the Berlin graduates for the year 2024. That includes preschool, elementary, high school, college, et cetera, et cetera. Step up on your good day. And best wishes to your future. The motto that I always that I always say is be the best of whatever you are. As you know, the the uh, cicadas are still in the Illinois area. They are very annoying. I don't know how many if you have any in your yard or in the area, but in some areas they are really horrible. The last time here is the male cicada seeming to attract their female counterparts. The, cic the cicadas they are come up here every seventeen years. And they are a valuable resource to the birds. The birds love them. The village of Burnham and members of the AMVET who post 43 have joined together to create a memorial dedicated to veterans. And you have up upset the cost. We have a, a fundraiser, a great fundraiser, which will help construct and maintain the memorial for years to come. And as you go to the other communities and other towns, you see the memorial. We do not have one. We're long overdue. So we're asking each and every one to please support us by buying a brick or two. You know, I, like I, I have in my family, I have my parents are deceased, and my son, my son that's deceased. So I want to purchase these three. <coughs> and we're asking each and every one to let's support this. We owe it to our veterans. National Night Out is uh, August 6th. We're looking for volunteers to teach our young people the joy and art of dance. That can include classical, ballet, modern, tap, jazz, hip hop. If anyone is interested, please leave their name and a contact number with our office personnel and uh, someone will get back in touch with you. Garage sale, Saturday, July 20th, 2024. The time is 7 <coughs> to 4 p.m. So if you have not purchased your uh, spot, please do so. As you know, the garage sale is a lot of fun. It's a time to meet your neighbors, to meet new neighbors, to conversate old neighbors. It's just a lot of fun on that day. And you can um, so come out, join with us, and spend the day with us. Again, July the 20th, from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. That was a full recall um, on, uh, it was ground beef. It was sold at, at uh, Mark, Walmart. And uh, the meat may contain yeah, each eat life, whole life. You may be sick, but, this, but there's a certain strain of bacteria that can cause a serious illness or even death to some people. The uh, date on that uh, meat should be April 26 and the 27. So if you have any of that, it, it's, called, it's done by ask you produce, but if you have any of that, we just throw it out or bring it back and get your money back from Walmart. And Florida is also recalling cucumbers, and I just bought some yesterday. But some of these cucumbers may contain salmonella contamination. And uh, the cucumber is causing a salmonella outbreak. And so, it's best just to record the cucumbers from the ground until that can blow over. So again, thank you for coming out this evening.
Yeah, thank you, uh, Trustee Drill, for your report and that information. One of the other things that I would like to say about the police body camera, and we are mandated by state law to have them uh, in effect before January the 1st of 2025. So, uh, Public Works and Building, Trustee Claypool. Good evening. Good evening. Public Works was servicing the alleys and uh, moving the overhanging tree branches uh, and uh, weeds and alley. Also, Public Works is looking into purchasing a new street sweeper. Uh, our current street, our current street sweeper, uh, continues to be in the shop to get maintained, and uh, our current sweeper is over 24 years old. So, time for them. And I don't know, have we been in quotes that quote or? We've looked at some and, um, and all of them seem to be in excess of $300,000 each. Is the company Elgin, are you looking at Elgin Sweeper? Is that the company? Do I understand it there? Um, um, they're not made by Elgin? They sell Elgin. Oh, okay. Because that's the ones I was, I was looking at Elgin too online. So then I'd rather than like to leave with old name at the clerk's office. And also, um, I attended, Chair Polk told me about it, I attended a, a meeting for the Southland, and it was concerning the uh, Wind Creek Casino. It'll be opening um, early November 2024. Um, also, they're doing a lot of hiring. The location is going to be 17300 South Austin, Austin. East Hazel Press, Illinois. And um, it's a number you can call 708 787 8877, extension 3984. Um, hiring starts now. Um, there's a couple of uh, flyers up here. I also got some more. You could just scan it and I'm going to take you directly to the website. Also, it's going to be for the Wing Creek Casino, it's going to be a, a hiring event. Uh, August 7th, 2024, from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. That's going to be held at uh, Prairie State College. Uh, yeah, they hire for basically everything. Um, the table games, slots, security, uh, food and beverage, housekeeping, mm -hmm. uh, you name it. So, um, you know, anyone that needs a, uh, employment or whatever, you know, they could uh, just scan and, uh, and fill out the application on, uh, right there. So, eventually they will end up hiring over a thousand people. So, you will probably have about 500 additional at the end right now. That's all right. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Planning and Trustee Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action to approve or not approve mm -hmm. Ordinance 2024-0-004, an ordinance amending Chapter 18, Article 15 of the Village of Vernon Court of Ordinances and establishing the Abandoned Property Acquisition Program of the Court of Ordinances of the Village of Burma. Okay, and, and before we ask for a motion to approve, this is uh, an ordinance that will allow to eliminate some of the blighted properties in Burnham and uh, try to get them back on the tax roll and, and create additional curb appeal that we are working on. We put so on and we propose. Uh, basically, this ordinance opens up the opportunity for individuals and developers uh, to take it and apply to the village to uh, acquire property uh, uh, that are delinquent, and vacant, and abandoned, and, uh, uh, and are not up to code. And as a result of that, the village reviews its uh, eminent domain powers and statutory powers to acquire property on behalf of those individuals who will agree in writing and enter into an agreement with the village to take it and bring the property up to code within six months. And then uh, the village will hire its attorneys to take it uh, and acquire the property. And then ultimately, uh, the parties will enter the village and the individual or company, whether a developer, wishes to take it and uh, rehab and develop the property, under a new agreement with the village, and uh, the village will eventually convey title to the property uh, once all the fees and costs are paid. 
and that way it'll get back on the rolls. Hopefully, they'll be uh, done quickly and efficiently. And those hot properties that uh, are uh, high source right now and become tributary uh, to the uh, ambiance of this building uh, in the next building. Thank you. Thank you, Stanley. Um, does the board have any questions? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Make a motion to approve ordinance number 2024-0-004 and ordinance amending chapter 18, article 15 of the Village of Burnham, code of ordinances and establishing the abandoned property acquisition program of the code of ordinances of the Village of Burnham. And now the motion to by the trustee Garcia to approve the audit. Uh, we may have a second. How did you make a motion? You made a motion. Did we have a second? Second. Second by trustee Harley. We probably take the vote. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayton? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you very much. Do you have anything else, Trustee uh, Garcia? Yes, just sort of one thing. So there's also going to be another job fair um, June 20th. So it will be um, a week from this coming Thursday. And it's going to be a, at, uh, in Pickles Hills and Moraine Valley, but the employers are local to the area. That's just one of the places that you know we found space to fit the employers that wanted to attend. Um, and they're going to be hiring on the spot also. So if you know anyone that's interested, you know, please have them attend um, the job fair. We have about 20 employers that are going to be hiring on the spot. It's what time? Yeah. Yeah. Good paying jobs too. What time? Um, it's from 10 to 2. Yeah, right. I think no, Trustee Garcia had previous job fairs that are very high weight and higher. Yes. If anybody's looking for oh. a job, oh. the chances are very good if you don't have a job, these yeah. people will yeah. Yes, if you know anyone, take some and you know, pass them out. It's open to anyone that's interested in working. Okay, thank you, Trustee Garcia, for that information. Congratulations on the passing of the ordinance. Um, uh, finance Trustee Kemp. Good evening. Good evening. Discussion of consideration of and taking action on authorizing the payment of this month's bills. I'd like to make a motion to authorize the payment of this month's bills. We have the motion on approved by Trustee Cap to authorize the payment for this month, June 2024. Can we have a second? Second. Second by Trustee Richardson. Trustee Cap? Yes. Trustee Hodges? Yes. Trustee Garcia? Yes. Trustee Greer? Yes. Trustee Richardson? Yes. Trustee Clayton? Yes. The motion passed. Thank you. Do we have anything else, Trustee Cap? Yes. Last week, Monday and Tuesday, the Finance Committee held appropriation hearings. One day was like an hour, the other day was four hours, but the committee does not get paid special for that, and I want to make the public know that those are, that's a committee meeting, so we don't get special pay. We were accused of stretching it out for extra pay, but we do not get paid extra for those meetings. So we got everything accomplished, and it took about five hours altogether, maybe just short of five hours, but thank you for everyone that attended. And that's it. Thank you, Trustee Captain. Well, you don't understand how the government works and you get most things wrong. There are certain people that always do that. Thank you. But you can't accuse us of stealing all the time. <laughs> sometimes, we're, sometimes we're doing our jobs. <laughs> right? Every so often. Yeah. Right? I mean, we're all the time. All the time. All the time. No, it's all the time. It's all the time. I mean, I don't steal, but I'm on my way to heaven. I'm trying to get there, so I'm not stealing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cap. Uh, yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. The 2023 annual drinking water quality report is available in pamphlet form on our website. The website is burnham il.gov. And you go to the water and sewer area and you can read the report. We have some here. Oh, on the table. okay. There's some on the table. Can they also be downloaded from the website? Mm -hmm. Just read one here. And I also wanted to mention the other thing. I don't know if you can tell them, but I forgot to give you that trustee message. That the city of Chicago is raising the water rate. Right. 
So, um, and another thing I said at a previous meeting, maybe a couple of years ago, I said at some point, at some point, at some point, the village of Brandon, was, we would have to raise the rate in order to kind of keep up with the increase that occurred. And of course, people went out and said that I said that we were going to raise the water rate. That is not what I said. That is not what I said. So I'm repeating tonight I mean, what I said then. At some point, the village of Brown will have to raise the rates a little bit to keep up with these additional increases. So let me put it up. So, and I'm not a hypocrite, so I'll tell you what's going on. And when I tell you something, you got my word on it. Um, the other thing is um, um, the next committee is Park and Recreation Trustee Trustee Hunter. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I am proud to, to announce our first ever Gospel Fest it will be out here at Loghead Park, July 27th from 5 to 8 p.m. It's going to be um, it's going to be a really good day. It's going to be a good amount of people there. But one thing I am putting on the record, I'm going to put burning first. So if you get there, we're going to get you. Make sure you got your front row seat. Already, or at least a close seat to the uh, to the stage. Make sure you're okay. It's going to be a really good day. We're going to have Destin Walker and Zion Movement, Little Harry and Promise. That guy is energy. Have you have you ever seen him? You got a question? No, I was just wondering. Are we going to have a canopy? A canopy? We we did talk about it, putting a canopy up. So we are going to make it convenient. But we expect a yeah. hundred thousand people, so we're going to make it convenient. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, burn them first. We put them burn them first. When we had that, we had that little. Pavilion, the dark district, though, right? Because the thing, the reason, because a lot of people they come around from other from other uh, cities to see some of these people that they're, that they're fans of some of the people singing. But uh, it's a really good act. So I just wanted to bring some inspiration with the mayor and the trustees, bring inspiration to Burnham. And a good happy day. We have some some vendors there. It's going to be some people there. So come on out. Yeah. This is going to be a, a, a really busy summer for Burnham because the yeah, week before crazy. then is the garage sale. So then you got the, um, the gospel fest after that. And the week after the gospel fest is community day. That's August 3rd. So that's going to be food there, fun, games, prizes. Another day, then the week, the, the next week after that, well, actually that same week, August 6th is National Night Out celebrating our police department, our fire department, we want you guys to come out there. So we're gonna have a lot of things going on. We may even have some more things going on. As so stay stay tuned. Um, we're working on even more stuff going on for the village. So we got so we got the garage sale July June twentieth. I mean that's um July twentieth. July twentieth. We got the gospel Fest July twenty seventh, community day August third, then we got National Night, National Night Out August sixth. So we got plenty to do in the parks, all right, right across the way over there. Also, I want to thank, uh, again, uh, congratulations to all the, the Burnham graduates, um, but I want to appreciate TF North, because they're, um, they're taking some of my eighth grade boys and doing some basketball camps this summer with them. I appreciate them giving up something to do for the summer. So we're going to make sure uh, we, keep, we keep us busy all throughout the summer. If you guys got any ideas for the summer, please let me know. Thank you guys for your support. If you guys got anything, keep me up posted. Thank you so much, Mayor. Thank you, Trustee. I wanted to add that mm -hmm. uh, for the Gospel Fest, we also have our very own Dwayne Ledeen. Yes, Dwayne! Yes, 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 <laughs> yeah, I have my group and his name there. We'll be performing. Well, the time is from five, five o'clock. Five o'clock. We're going to have a DJ there to get us all started, get us warmed up. You know, for the day, we're going to have that. So the thing is, these three people, Lil Harry Thompson, Sam, Sila, Saint Sabana, and we're going to have them there. So these are three performers on the fly. We're going to have them there. So 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 we're going to and enjoy, you know, your community. And it's really about meeting each other, hanging out too. That's another thing we really big. I want to bring back the idea of community. We get to know each other. And also, before and during, we're having food vendors. Yep. So come out, enjoy, and partake of some of the delicious food. We have, we have food, I'm seeing we have, we have a games tent like we did last year, the community day, mm -hmm. for gospel fest and community day, because I got some games for the kids. It's going to be a good day. Just try to make sure Burnham is busy 
this summer. <laughs> you got stuff to do every weekend. So if you if you, you look for something to do every weekend, pretty much for the summer, you got something for you. Okay, now the food will be for sale, so uh, I just want to say that. And um, and also, his suggestion was made from the committee that the Wayne Gibbs was recommending you this evening. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> But it's going to be nice, though. It's going to be nice. Yep. Yes, thank you, thank you. Are there any presentation of petitions? Is there any communication? Memorial? A resolution? We don't have any unfinished business? Or do we? No. I have new business. I have new business? Okay. This Saturday, um, the DAB is having a walk at Wicker Park in Highland. And registration starts at 8.30, uh, the walk starts at 10. Carmel and Brenda have been there in the past, so somewhere on that side I passed out a couple flyers, so if you're interested in stopping by, the flyers are over there somewhere, you can make a copy. But it's really a good time and it yeah. supports disabled veterans. Yes. It'd also be a great time to, for someone to sell some bricks. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people that show up with a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Thank you, Mr. Captain, for that information. Yeah. And, uh, and it's been a while since I'm this person that made sound for the back. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't be one of the back of the front he didn't hear you. Thank 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 you. And you're part of the family, so you already want to participate as well as everybody else. Thank you. Um, one of us. I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. A motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Second.